Luke chapter 1, 59 to 64. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. Sister, his mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among our relatives who is called by the name. 62, So they made signs to his father what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately, his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed and he spoke, praising God. Today you will praise God. Amen. I said today you will praise God. Amen. Take your seat. I want to continue from where I stopped. Evil names can swallow glory. Said evil names can swallow glory. Let me start by saying any name they've given to your family, given to your parents, given to you that is fighting your progress. Fighting your sources, fighting your testimonies, fighting your rising. Today that name will receive deliverance. Amen. Today that name will catch fire. Amen. And the name will receive deliverance. Amen. Any name fighting your prosperity. Amen. Any name fighting your rising. Amen. That name will receive deliverance today. Amen. After that name will receive deliverance today. Amen. That name that is fighting your greatness. Amen. That name that is fighting your glory. Amen. That name that is fighting your advancement. Amen. That name will receive deliverance today. Amen. I said after today the name will receive deliverance. Amen. Your name will begin to work for you. Amen. You will begin to eat in the name of Jesus. Amen. After this very service Amen. your name will work for you. Amen. I said the name will stand for you. Amen. In the name that is above every other name Amen. I disconnect your name Amen. from the evil foundation Amen. to a better foundation. Amen. I disconnect your name Amen. from that to be the altar Amen. to the altar of Jesus. Amen. You will no longer see shame. Amen. You will no longer suffer. Amen. You will no longer cry again. Amen. After this very service, Amen. life will be sweet for you. Amen. I said life will be sweet for you. Amen. I said life will be sweet for you. Amen. You say, man of God, why are you always talking with confidence? Yeah. It's because I've seen battles. Yeah. I've seen troubles. Yeah. I've touched the end of a serpent. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the sting of a scorpion. Yeah. I've entered the lion's den. Yeah. The God that delivered me. Yeah. That God will fight your battle. Yeah. The God that took me out. Yeah. That God will fight your battle. Yeah. When you get to the Red Sea, yeah. the Red Sea will divide. Yeah. When you go through the valley, yeah. Jehovah will go with you. Yeah. When you get to the mountain, yeah. the mountain will become plain. Yeah. When you get to the iron gate, yeah. it will in his own accord. Amen. No power can stop you. Amen. No demon can stop you. Amen. I said no power can stop you. Amen. After this very service, yeah. anything you touch will prosper. Amen. I said anything you touch will prosper. Amen. Testimonies will begin to follow you. Amen. Greatness will begin to follow you. Amen. No power can stop you. Amen. No demon can stop you. Amen. I said no power can stop you. Amen. If you jump up and shout him a Seventeen, testimony. Jesus, Jesus, call His name. Jesus, Jesus, call His name. Call His name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Take your seat. Stand up again. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Hope. 
and help has come. Then look at your neighbor. Say now, nah, see that like a big man or big woman. It doesn't get the way they do me. It doesn't get the way they do me. Make her follow the way they do me. Make her follow the way they do me. One no man don't say. She said, Papa, throw away your face from the time. She said, Papa, throw away your face from the time. She said, Papa, the way you they do, I go bask the time. She said, Papa, the way they do, I go bask the time. She said, Papa, come. She said, Papa, come. Make her whisper something for your ear. No time for roti mango. Make her whisper something for your ear. No time for roti mango. My daughter, get the way the service go go. My daughter, get the way the service go go. I go disappoint you, I go look the time. I go disappoint you, I go look the time. No 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 time. There was a time. There was a time. There was a time now. There was a time now. There was a time. There was a time. I was a leader of NTA. I was a leader of NTA. National Trackers Association. National Trackers Association. There was a time. There was a time. I was using Nokia 33. I was using Nokia 33. There was a time. There was a time. No money to buy back. No money to buy but But now I'm a product of VOA. But now I'm a product of VOA. Vehicle Owners Association. Vehicle Owners Association. Is a sign. Is a sign that everything. That everything is going to be alright. It's going to be alright. Alright. Jesus name. Amen. Evil names can swallow your glory. Many people never use their glory because their names swallow the glory. Many people that were born to shine never shone because their names swallowed their glory. There are names you will answer. You will never progress till you die. There are names you will answer. Instead of testimonies, you will be seeing shame. There are names you will answer. Even God will be far from you. Because names are so powerful. Names is what they use to identify you. And name is connected to your personality. So tell me your name. I will tell you the kind of things you will go through or suffer. There are people who are born to eat from the table. 
But I have nothing to show. Because of the names they answered. And you know the most funny part? Some are not aware that it is the name that is fighting them. In that Genesis 32, we see a man that carried greatness by name Jacob. Jacob carried the testimony, the inheritance, the words, the blessings that was given to his grandfather. But sir, he never shone. Why? Because of the name he was answering. Jacob was blessed. His father collected the blessings from his grandfather. And the father laid the blessings on him. And said, nations will bow before you. Your mother's children will bow before you. That means nobody can stand you. But sir, the man that carried this greatness, this grace blessings, never saw the testimonies. Why? Because his names stood as hindrance. And you know the most important part? He was not aware. But the Bible says because of anger, after 21 years of traveling abroad, because it was abroad he traveled to, left his father's house, went abroad. After 21 years, the Bible says, nothing to show. A man that traveled with blessings, traveled abroad, got there. Instead of him to stand out among his equals, he became a slave. To tell you how tough it was, he began to work for his father-in-law. You didn't hear what they talk so. That means he knew nothing of where this thing was coming from. 21 years was for the father-in-law. The man became tired. Is it that the blessings my father told me about, they are not true? He knew that that blessing was correct. But he did not know where the problem was coming from. And the Bible says he was tired abroad. He was tired, so he carried his family and was going back to his own country. And something happened. The Bible says for the first time, the man was restless. Because those that travel abroad, they went back home with testimonies. But this one is going back with his wives, his mates, and just children. And some of the little things he brought. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But the Bible says that night he was left alone. In Genesis 32 verse 24. The Bible says he was left alone. I have told you before, if you have not gotten to where you will be left alone, you've not started the destiny movement. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says he was left alone. And the Bible says he wrestled with an angel throughout that night. And in verse 26, it was time for the angel to go. And the angel said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let it go until you bless me. In verse 27, the angel looked at him. Because the blessing you are talking about is already in you. Why is the blessings not working? You look malicious, but nothing to show. You carry what we put food on your table, but nothing to show. He looked at him and said, you don't need blessings. Because the blessings you carry is a generational blessings. And he said, what you need is your name. He said, what is your name? He said, my name is called Jacob. The angel said, from today you shall no longer be called Jacob. It was that name that brought you down. It was that name that brought in trans. It was that name that followed you to Laban's house and gave you disgrace. If you don't change that name, you will die a poor man. That means names can hinder testimonies. Names can reduce your greatness. Names can cover your glory. I came today as a living ancestor. Any name fighting your glory. Any name fighting your progress. Any name they've assigned to hinder you. I command that name to cast fire. Amen. 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 And I command deliverance to enter the name. Amen. If you shut him, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. Sir, can I say something? Anywhere you go, name can hinder you. Jacob left his father's house, left his country, went to another place. The name followed him. That means people.
people that traveled abroad that are not making it, some should check their names. You didn't hear what they talk so. Because names can affect you anywhere you travel to. I can Jacob, a mighty man, traveled abroad. That was a good one. He traveled abroad, began to walk, but the name was swallowing the glory. Do you know the most funny part? The Bible says every year for the 21 years, they change his wages 10 times. Not that they uh, the increased it, they decreased, they brought it down. Instead of going up, it was going down. Look at the funny part. Jacob would have traveled abroad. Somebody say, God forbid. God forbid. Jacob that traveled abroad. Listen, you know, eh? when he was going, the Bible made a statement that he got to where his brother was, the one he left at home. He gave him all the things he brought, and the brother said, Keep them. I have more than enough. There is nothing as painful as when you travel abroad, you come back, there is no house to stay. The person you left here has built a house. I have more than enough. Somebody say, God forbid. Say, those that travel abroad, they will succeed on all sides. Talk away, Lord. They will succeed on all sides. Say, my family member abroad. My friends abroad. My children abroad. Those are not abroad. They will succeed abroad. Yeah. Jacob traveled abroad. Come back. The man he came to meet at home, the man now have 400 mighty men. Servant of war. Not be the real servant of the war. They go war. If they won't go war. Jacob, yes, a brother, they come from far. Now he send the wife. Go, you not get servant. Not only women, not carry for nobody. Only women no, and children. The man said, keep what you have. I have more than enough. But was it supposed to be so? No! The truth was, he carried the blessings. But the name swallowed the blessings. Your name will not swallow your blessings. <laughs> I said your name will not swallow your blessings. Amen. If you shout him, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. The angel said, what is your name? That means evil can give you chance because of names. What is your name? Say my name is Jacob. Say from today, don't answer that name. Don't answer that name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The second one I came to talk about is the one in First Samuel chapter 4 where uh, Phineas wife uh, was pregnant she was pregnant it was time to give birth and when it was time to give birth the ninth month the Bible said something that touched me there was war between the Israelites and the Philistines and in the war they captured the ark of God the ark of God is not God who, are you hearing what I'm saying they captured the ark of God and the Bible says the two sons of Eli were killed that day and they slaughtered many Israelites and one of them that ran, ran straight to meet Eli. And Eli said, what is the noise I'm yelling? He said, we lost the battle and your two sons are dead. The man was still comfortable. But as soon as he heard that the ark was collected, the Bible says the man fell backward. Are you hearing me? And that was how he died. And this news came to the wife. The wife heard that the husband is dead. The brother-in-law is dead. And and the grandfather wishes to be the grandfather of the child is dead. And the pain came. Now who is time for me? Who will name the child? Who will follow me? My husband is gone. My husband brother is dead. And now my father-in-law is dead. The one that is very caring. The one that has made me to remain in this marriage. Anytime I want to leave, he will tell me my daughter don't leave. Don't leave because of your husband. I know his character stay. Now who oh, will encourage me? And the Bible said the pain entered the woman and she delivered. As soon as she delivered, they asked her what is the name of the child? The woman turned and she made the statement. She said and his name shall be called Ikabo which means the glory has departed. The child's name was supposed to be 
covered which means glory are you hearing what I'm saying but he said the glory has departed this child came to take the place of the grandfather but a woman used her mouth to change the story are you hearing what I'm saying until today nobody heard the name of Ichabod because it's a name of shame a name that carried disgrace he said the glory has departed now the question is what have the child done it was not the child that killed the father why did you carry the pain and give to the child are you hearing what I'm saying and nobody till today hear the name of Ichabod because the mother called him a name to hinder him any name they've given to you to hinder your greatness to hinder your testimony I command the name disappear I command the name to receive total deliverance I command the name to receive total deliverance. I command that name to receive total deliverance. If you shout, hey, man, you're the one I just spoke to. And I told you the one in First Chronicles 4 verse 9. The Bible made a statement. The Bible said Jabez was more honorable. Do you know what it means to be more honorable? That means when you see him, wow, he's standing out. When you see him, when he comes out, you see somebody with honesty. When he comes out, you can tell that this one is different from the rest. The Bible said he was more honorable, but nothing to show. More, but nothing to show. It will never be your portion. Some say, we have something to show. Say, we have something to show. Say it very well. I will have something to show. Say it with confidence. I will have something to show. Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. When you enter, you look at him, you know that this one is different. There are some of you like that. People just see you, they know you are different. But nothing to show. You went to school. I agree. Nothing to show. Very beautiful. Nothing to show. You have six sparks. Nothing to show. You are the only child. Nothing to show. You have no child. Nothing to show. He was more honorable than his brethren. But the Bible says there was nothing to show. Because his mother called him Jabez, which means pain. I bore him in pain. So anywhere he entered, they said, Jabez, the hala, pain. He would say, Sir, pain, sir. Some say, God forbid. They said, pain, he will run, sir. So everywhere he entered from one pain to another pain, if he move with his friends, they will favor others, they will not favor him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anywhere he goes to pain. From pain to pain. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But the man found out that it was because the mother called him pain. So the pain was not fighting him. And the Bible says, Jabez called the name of the Lord. That means he used the name of the Lord to change his name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Any name they've given to you that is fighting your progress, fighting your success, fighting your celebration, I command that name to receive deliverance. And I command the name to cash fire. If you shut him, you are the one I just spoke to. Say pain. Say pain. From where we read, the Bible says there was a man by name Zachariah. Zachariah was already old, and the wife had entered menopause. They prayed all kind of prayer. No baby came. So they gave up. But after many years, the Bible says an angel came. And when the angel came, the angel said to him, he said, Zachariah, your wife shall conceive and his name shall be called John. The man ignored the angel. 
Because the time they needed the baby has passed. To tell you how tough it was, the man said, my wife is old. Number one, Zechariah was the high priest of Israel. Number two, he was blameless, a very righteous man. That means even righteous people can go through pains. Never mock people or laugh at them when they go through their ninth season because their ninth season is not your ninth season. And they talk to somebody here now. Not everybody you see that goes through pain actually did something wrong. So don't mock people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Don't mock them all. He was righteous. The Bible said he was blameless. That means he stood out and he was faithful. He never left God because he had no child. And he was a high priest. Just imagine the way people will be talking. He will pray for people that will get pregnant. His wife had no child. I think you know what that means. But the Bible made a statement that the angel came and the angel said something. The angel said, he said, your wife shall bring forth a son. His name shall be called John. And he didn't answer the angel because he knew he has passed the age. And at this time, if my wife even carry belly, they're not going to laugh at him. He's not going to happen himself. Number two, I don't have strength again. But the angel said, because you have spoken like this, he said, you will become dumb. You will not talk till that baby comes out. And that was how the man that went to represent Israel came out from the mountain, came out from the holy of holies. Dumb. When they saw him, they knew something happened there. But nobody knew what happened. It was only the wife. Because signs of writing, what transpired there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And the Bible says, him and the wife kept it secret. And after some months, the Bible says the wife delivered a bouncing baby boy. As the angel said. And now at the eighth day, it was time for them to name the child. And to be frank with you, in Israel, it is men that name children. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if they must name you, they must name you the name that has been in the family. So they look at the child because the father couldn't talk again. He's not done. And they said, instead of him to talk, let the spokesman of the family speak. And the spokesman stood up. He said, today is the naming ceremony of our child. And the name of the child we have concluded. His name shall be called Zachariah. We will name him after his father, Zachariah, to continue from where the father stopped. And everybody will clapping when the mother stood up and the woman said not so his name shall not be called Zachariah it shall be called John are you hearing what I'm saying and they ask him there is no one in this family that answer that kind of name she said I agree but the name shall not be called Zachariah it was Zachariah the father answered we couldn't meet up with bees it was Zachariah the father answered that made us to see shame and pain. It was Zachariah the father answered that made us not to meet up like others. He said, not so. His name shall be called John. We don't want this name Zachariah. We don't want to transfer that name to him so that he will suffer what the father suffered. We don't want to transfer this name to him so that he will not be limited. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I came to say the same thing. Any name they've given to you to limit yeah. I came to say not so yeah. I scattered the power that is following that name yeah. I said not so yeah. if you shout to me you will not receive deliverance yeah. can I shock you can I say this the woman didn't say not so because she wanted to she remembered 
that that name was what followed Jacob. She remembered it was the name the mother gave to Jabez that followed Jabez. She remembered it was the name they gave to Phineas' side that made the child not to come out. Ikabo. She said, no, we will not continue like that. A woman has to stand and change the name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, this is what I want to say before I continue. I told the woman last time while I was talking, I told them what I want to say now and I like to say it again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The woman said the name was given to that person. When you hear that a woman is in a family, can I say this now? When a woman enters marriage, that marriage is supposed to be blessed by nature. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why? Because the Bible said he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. That means a woman is supposed to be a good thing. So when you enter marriage, you are supposed to enjoy. Women are born to enjoy. Women are born to eat from the table. Women are born to celebrate. That is why he said, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. That means marriage carry good thing and favor. But the question is, you enter your marriage and there is no favor. You enter the marriage, you are still begging. You that is supposed to be enjoying the marriage, you that is supposed to be eating well with favor, there is nothing to show. You enter the marriage, believing God you will enjoy in the marriage. But what God said, you have not seen it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You carry favor, you enter the marriage, but now you are not eating from the marriage. Instead of enjoying the marriage, you are enjoying the marriage. Do you know why you are enjoying the marriage? You enter the marriage, you met poverty, you continue with poverty. Instead of you to say, not so, I am not in this marriage to suffer. Not so, because of me, Lord, bless my husband. Not so, because of me, open doors for my husband. Not so, because of me, let this man enjoy. Let this man buy cars. Let this man build houses. Let this man carry me and my children to travel all over the world. Not so. I did not come here to suffer. Not so. I did not come here to see shame. I speak into your life. Anything that wants you to suffer, that is cash by Amen. Say not so. Not so. Say it for us. Say not so. so. Madam, today is for women. I want to say something. Listen. You enter the house. The man is still suffering. You have not said anything. You have not what? You have not. He said, he that findeth a wife findeth what? A good thing. Let me give you expo. Have you not noticed? Where a man is working, they are paying him so so amount of money. You will find out when he marry, they've not increased the money. He will still feed his wife. For that money he used to manage. They will have children. With that small money, they will still meet up. Have you not seen it? Yes, no, is it very correct? Yes, if they ask you to write down the money you spend on your on the children, your wife, you will find that how is the money coming? And they talk to somebody here. No, naturally they talk so. At times you will ask, how, how? Where did this money come from? No. By nature, women are born to enjoy. By nature. So when they enter your house, it's for enjoyment, not enjoyment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when they enter your house, the goodness they brought that enter the house is supposed to bring favor from the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So if your own is not working like that, Today, say something. Not so. This is not what I plan to see in this marriage. Not so. Because of me, Lord, favor us. Let us open. I want to eat breakfast in Dubai. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to eat lunch in the U.S. Somebody say, not so. I not will so. not suffer again. Say, not so. Not I will so. not see shame again. If you shout, hey, man, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. Hey, say, not so.
not so. The woman said, no, 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 not so. It was this name we answered. Zachariah, can I tell you something now? Are you, are you okay? Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, she is. Not so. Now, look at it. He asked the question. He said, his name shall be called Zachariah. The woman said, no, 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 no. But that was the husband's name. And he said, his name shall be called John. They looked at themselves and they asked her, is there anyone in this family that has answered John before? Is there anyone in this family that has answered John before? Please follow me now because there's something I want to tell you. I began to wonder. The father was a high priest and he answered Zachariah, which is good. But the angel came despite their goodness his name shall not be called Zachariah. Call him John. Why? And I began to search and I find out that the name Zachariah means God has remembered me. To remember you means your case was forgotten before. <laughs> God has remembered him. If not that God remembered him, he would have died at old age without a child. And it makes sense, they come now. So when he said, not so, I know the meaning. I know the meaning. Zachariah means God had remembered. Remembered. Sometimes there are people who remembered you to help you, but they didn't come back because they were coming, something happened to them. Is it very correct? So you can't be forgotten. That means the reason they got to old age without having child quick, it was because they forgot them. And the angel said, no, this name will not follow the child. You shall call the name John. This John means two things. In Hebrew, it means one that carries grace of God. But in English, it means grace by God. And we don't want somebody to remember us. Let us start carrying the grace now. Grace that we put food on our table now. Grace that will make us buy car now. Grace that will make us travel abroad now. Grace that will make us do celebration now. Grace that we put 50 billion in our accounts now. Grace that will make us stand up now. Somebody say, enter me now. Amen. It makes sense to you. God, remember me. That means you have waited for some time. And they talk delay. When you pray the prayer of remembrance, it means you are forgotten. You have been delayed. And the second one, graced by God. When you are graced by God, brother, they go walk for your back. Whether they divide the food, you go show up. Then they divide, then they divide, leave you. In other years, in other years, keep you. Oh, uh, you don't know that they talk so. Someone said I go keep my home. Said I go keep my home. So why did the woman say not so? It's because she has gone to find out the meaning of Zachariah. God remember me. It's good, sir. But to me, it's also the name of beer beer meant. It means it, it, it means waiting. And sometimes when you wait, they will forget you. And they talk to somebody here. Yeah? Oh, you know when people forget you? Zachariah was remembered when he was old. But they said, this speaking, not going to follow that old age. Graced by God. Graced by God. When you carry this grace, anywhere you enter, people won't favor you. You didn't hear me so? We carry that grace. Anywhere we enter, people won't favor us. <laughs> you 
something funny. Take this hotel oh yourself. <laughs> God, they use you. Take this hotel. How many of you want to fall into that class? You like that one? Yes. You like banga soup and started the beg. You say, eat now, eat now. I say, no, I don't feel like eating. You won't eat too. Oh, you don't get out the talk self. Say grace by God. Say grace by God. Grace by God. That kind of food where you they eat, they sleep. That kind of food, if you won't get enough of uh, that the tenancy and my tenancy hand. Hey! The last time I went there, when I finished the pepper soup, oh, oh! If your throat enter, you did trouble. And they drive, they sleep. I call they pray, Lord, take me home. Take me home. Take me! You know, say, if food rich, it may make you sleep. This one, when you eat finish, you see the shy alert, you mess with it, come and tell you. You eat finish, your brother say, eat again, eat again. You don't finish three cup of rice with stew, eat again. Now, nah, broken tomato, so it does <laughs> poor. Oh, you don't know. Where does poor? You don't say get it, you go use. You go, you go, you go eat again. <laughs> you don't see where food for the cash like say you drink. No, no, eat my man love food. You go, you go, you go. Not so, not so, not so. When you carry the stash, don't touch anywhere. The place is blessed. Even if your foundation they fight you, say you not cast anything. Twelve, he make me. <laughs> Perewinko, go follow. You don't sing too much songs if you eat that kind of food. Lord will give you praise. We bless your name. Thank you for this food. As you eat, that's why you fear of your mouth. With tilapia. Tilapia, we just give your life to Christ. I'm not going to cook for you. They bring oil. In case your life not get oil. You just sleep in peace. Remember, if you eat the kind of food, you they pray, Lord, thank you, Jesus. But the kind of food where you go eat, only you go to sing song where you not believe. This world is not my home. I'm just passing to why you they pass through the banga soup not thick. As you carry on like this, you go rush on your heart. And because of your upbringing, instead of it to eat this, you Can open your heart. Say grace by God. Grace by God. Say carry grace. grace. To be remembered by God is good, though. But grace is better. He said, Not so. His name shall not be called Zachariah. We don't want to be remembered. We want to stay in grace. So anytime they see us, they bless us. And they talk to somebody. So somebody say, Carry grace. Carry grace. She said, Not so. No, 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 not so. His name shall not be called Zachariah. Remembered by God. It's a good name because God also remember you. But the man said, No, 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 no. Sometimes waiting for people to remember us, we can backslide. Some of you, you are tired because what you are expecting has not touched your hand. And you are seeing people who left. Why did they leave? They will say, I'm not, I, I beg, I don't tire for church. I don't tire. Come, can I shock you? Never get tired, even if you have not got what you are looking for. You did not become a Christian because of miracle. You became a Christian because you want to make heaven. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Is it making sense to you? Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's as if prayer is not working. Prayer is working. If you are tired, don't tell me. You just want to see you are happy. 
One prayer where I go pray, people go catch their testimony. You go come here, pray, pray. I don't pray, pray, pray. I forgot to pass on. Because of you, I not told. I forgot to pass on. But your problem, man of God, man of God. Small time when I won't sleep, man of God, grow. You go call me, come out for sleep. <laughs> Papa, Papa, you won't kill me. You won't kill me. I'm not getting what I'm looking for. No, 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 no. Don't be that kind of Christian. Can I shock you? Sometimes it is when you have forgotten about it, it will come. Can I say this now? Some of your prayer is the reason why you have not gotten it. Because you pray to the extent, eh? you pray to a place where you collected the battle from God's hand. God said, wait. You say, no, I want it now. Wait, no. So he said, take, go and pray. Remembered by God. But sir, I like grace by God. Say, I like grace by God. <laughs> by God. What is it? Grace from God. But the English said, grace by God. That means the man is enveloped. My God. Yes. Inside, swimming in grace. Walking in grace. It will be your portion. Amen. Somebody shout a loud amen. amen. The woman said, Not so. His name shall not be called Zachariah. Uh, that was the name we, we, we answered for a long time. There was nothing to show. He said, His name shall be called John. And listen, the family asked a question. They said, There is no one in this family that answered that name. Can I bring it back to our home? There is nobody in our family that has built a house. There is nobody in our family that has bought a car. There is nobody in our family that has traveled abroad. So, why do you want to change it? Why do you want us to start enjoying it? We don't like enjoyment. But the woman said, I will not be part of that failure. I stayed all my life with this man. There was nothing to show. But today, not so. We want to change from God, remember us, to graced by God. We want to see the grace in our lives. We want to see the testimonies in our life. There are people who will see the testimony in your life. You don't need to preach to them. They will follow you to where you worship. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Open your hand. The grace that you put food on your table. Yeah. The grace that you make you enjoy. Carry the grace. Amen. Take your seat. And they asked the man, what do you want? They told the man, won't say anything. They said, it's nature because of Zachariah. The woman said, not so. For the first time, the woman challenged the family. Sir, it gets to a place where you stand for the truth. You start saying, no, 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 no. You know I'm a calm person, but this one, I, I, must, I must correct this error today. And they look at the woman, they say, you have not been like this before. And the man turned, and they asked the man, what shall it be called? They make sign of Zachariah. He said, no, give me something, let me write. Thank God. What about if Zachariah was not educated? Eh? If he wasn't able to write, how would he have done that? How can a, a deaf call the name of John? I hear what I'm saying now. I think it would be hard. God will always, and I thank God these days that if you cannot write, I'm talking to mothers now, if you cannot write, have a WhatsApp. A what? A WhatsApp. WhatsApp, you can record. Some of our mothers that cannot write is talk, they talk. They will talk. Papa, see you, see you, see you. And me too, I go return. Mama, God go bless you in the name of Jesus. I think they hear that they talk so. Yes, they have brought it to our way so that everybody can flow. But just think, if this man did not go to school, uh, 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 where's the name? Zachariah. I think it would have affected him. But the Bible said, it said bring a tablet. They brought it. And he wrote the name John. And as soon as he wrote the name John, his mouth opened. And the Bible says, yes, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. His mouth open. Yes. His mouth open. That's the thing I want to tell you. As soon as his mouth open, the Bible said they were shocked. Remember I told you that when a woman keep quiet, when she sees that things are not working well, it can affect the house. Is it very correct? Yes. It is true. And she said, not so. I'm tired. This thing, I don't want it. Not so. And that was the end of it. If they've called the child Zachariah, eh? the mouth would have remained like that. Till death. 
and it would have changed the destiny of the child. Don't use your name sometimes to follow your children. You give birth to a child and they are called the child junior. You. You don't have keke. And you are calling your child junior. It means this is the junior version of your home. The junior version of your poverty. You did hear talk so? You can call him junior when you have arrived. But sir, junior means you are the senior. This is the junior. No. The child has a name. The child didn't come to share your name with you. He has a name. Say, he has a name! Because what followed you will follow that child. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes. As a name. Not so! They say, but nobody has answered this name yet. We agree. But today we are changing it. Some say we are changing it. Yes. People will talk, forget. Change it. Let it be right. And today it will be right in the name of Jesus. Number two, this is what I want to say so we will begin to pray. There are two sets of women you will find that since I've been speaking or talking about this topic, there are two kinds of women you will find out. One, those that cover their children with names and to their own, the one that disconnect the child from the name. Are you hearing me now? I've been talking about one. Say so because she bore the child in sorrow, he named the child sorrow. One. Say so because the glory departed, gave the name Ikabo. Glory has departed. One. His name was called Jacob. But this one, the woman said, I have studied the lives of those three women. It didn't end well. Not so. Now, I want to talk about two kinds of women before we close. Say two kinds of women. And to help. Look at it. One, use our pain and transfer the pain to the child. One, remember our pain and say, because of that pain I went through, this child will not suffer. And they talk to somebody. Even when family gathered, remember, Jabez's mother, not be family, oh. she said, because of her pain. Phineas' wife was not family that gave the name oh, because of the pain. But look at this woman. She has entered menopause. She has forgotten everything. Baby came. She was supposed to name the child. God has remembered us. Is it not correct? It would have even been better to call Zachariah, which means God has remembered us. He said, no. This name will follow the child. Graced by God. And do you know, John enjoyed life from beginning. Graced by God. Say, I will enjoy life from beginning. There are two kinds of women. The first kind of woman I want to talk about is the lioness. And the second woman I want to talk about is the hyena. There are two kinds of women. One, the lioness and the hyena. Both of them are hunters. Both of them are wives. Even the lioness has stronger capacity than the hyena. But the first thing you will find out from the lioness, she is submissive. She's what? Submissive. No matter how she go to hunt, she must carry for the husband to eat first before anybody will eat. Because why? She understands that it's a head. And that head is the one that protects the home. Can I shock you? A man that cannot control you, yes. A man that cannot control you cannot fight for you. Oh, did you hear it at the talk to me? A man you do not listen to can never fight for you. And when you get to a place where you are doing everything and the man is no longer saying anything, shake yourself. He has left you. Stay in the same house. And both of you, he allows you to do everything by yourself and you are still in the house. He has left you. There's a pain. And they talk to somebody here now. So, the lioness, she is good in hunting. The lioness knows her place in the family. 
The lioness knows that she's not the one that will give name to the child. The lioness knows that for she to stand well and for she to carry honor, the husband must be by her. The lioness understands that anything that we profit her, the husband must involve. So, when the lioness go for hunting and there is food, they walk away first for the lion, the man to eat. When the man finishes eating, she and her children will eat. She is not stupid. She understands the place of submission. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A submissive wife will go far. Uh, can I say this one? If you are submissive, you will stand well and you will have peace. Men are quiet in nature, in their heart. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That you suggested or the man said something and you took it does not mean it's the all and all. It's a sign you are working together. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So, the lioness understand her place. She will provide. She has the capacity to be on her own. But she refused to be on her own. Okay, you kill. Why don't you hit? No, no, no. Somebody has made me a woman. Somebody has put me under the roof. I have told you before that women are not born to be alone. Women are never born to be alone. Do you know why? Because God never did it like that. A woman leaves her father's house to join another father's house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A woman leaves the house where the father is the controller to join a man that is a controller. Are you hearing me? The woman only become a controller when the man is dead. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the lioness understands her place that if she must stay long, if she must be there, can I say this one? Not everything is money. Not everything is money. I am saying it and I will repeat it. Some of you don't know the value of your husband until you miss that man. Some of you don't understand that there's a place for man. He may not be wealthy, but the name alone will make many people to go out of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He may not be capable the way you want him to be capable, but that you are married, there is a respect you draw. And they talk to somebody. It's true. It's true. I have met people who walked away and they regretted it. Don't walk away, man. Remain a lioness. Fight. Because I find that most of the women that left their marriage has become side chic to another man. What you don't want people to... Can you stay alone? Oh, you think you can stay alone? I'm not saying the one that something happened to the husband. Please don't misunderstand me. But naturally, don't walk away from your home. Don't! There are people who want to talk. But they can't talk because there's a man standing beside you. They are not aware. Some of your family members, they have things they want to tell you. But they can't tell you because there's a man beside you. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Look at the neighbor and say, don't walk away. Yes. It does not have, it does not have, I agree. But don't walk away. Don't walk away. Have you ever thought of it? That the money you have, it wasn't because you are perfect. You have siblings that doesn't have that kind of money. But God saw that the man that is coming does not have money, but he will protect are they, are they here? Yes. Women are quiet. Are they here? Ooh, if you're quiet, it doesn't mean anything. You can't change me as your pastor. If you will change me, I go find you call the church where you go. It doesn't make sense to you at all. Yes. Papa, you don't understand. You don't understand. What do I need to understand? No, what do I need to understand? It was not so from the beginning. Stand up. There are people who are hiring your husband, you are not aware. 
You they laugh at see belly, see leg, see head, coconut head. Some people they find coconut head. Are they laugh? It's true. You don't know. It's not the money. I must say money is not part of it. Man must play his role. Any man that does not play his role yet need prayer. And the prayer come to me when we close. We use both plantain leaf to flog you. Are you hearing me now? Yes. I'm not saying yes. Listen, some men, eh? You can't manage them. I'm not. Are you getting it now? You can't manage them. I'm talking about the one God gave you. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. The lioness is capable, but she didn't walk away. The lioness is standing, but she still remained there. Submissive because, you know why? A day is coming. What money cannot do, protection will do it. If mama didn't know that it would be like this and she walked away while we are dating, up to now I would have done five crusades in their area this week. At this message, I would, have, I would have gone there to preach it. You walked away! Where are you now? Where are you now? <laughs> Where are you now? Did it make sense to you now? The lioness is capable. Listen. Support. Can I, can I shock you now? I've never been to Philippines before. I never even thought of going there. Okay, but I sent mama to Philippines. By sending her to Philippines, and I visited Philippines. Is it correct? Sometimes, you carry them to this level, they carry you to this level. You carry them to here, yeah, they carry you to this level. Is it very correct? Yes. Lioness! No one to move. And the lioness will always be submissive. I beg you, be submissive. I have many mothers here. Hey! Responsible! Submissive! Despite the money they have. I have a mother here. I have a mother here. She will never spray you when the husband is around. She will just from the corner give the husband the money. To spray. Bear you! <laughs> Azubi! <laughs> you don't share the money, not the man money. You. You'll give us more, you'll carry the big one, go there, go there, show yourself. Eh? Oh, you didn't make your anger. Make your anger. Other man money. knows her place. She's a big woman, but she understands that despite my bigness, there is a man covering me. And they talk to somebody. There's a place you must understand. It is how you project the man. Others will see the man. So be a lioness and project your king. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every lioness has a king. Your husband is your king. He may not have. Foundation may have brought him down. Yes, I agree. But your support will carry him to a level where he will stand. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today I speak to every woman. May the spirit of a lioness enter your amen the, the second the lioness and the hyenas in the kingdom of lions the man is the king so it is a king that rules the pride so the woman knows the place of a king but in the kingdom of hyenas the alpha female is the queen. Lions have king. Hyenas have queen. It is women that rule in the kingdom of hyenas. The kingdom of the lions, it is the man that rules. But in the kingdom of hyenas, it is the woman that rules. 
The women are more bigger than the men. And when it comes to battle, it's the women that comes out because they are bigger and they are stronger. And because they are bigger, they have no respect for the men. They have no respect for man. Mother! I know why you say you be a hyena! I know why you say because you beat, you not gonna know the man, no! The female is the queen. And because she's so powerful, she had no husband. Ah, Ina don't have husbands. They mate with anybody they like. Anybody they like. They mate. They call the working class. They mate. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, when they have money, they have the power. They are the controller. What do they need man for? Are you hearing what I'm saying? When it is time to eat, they are the killers and they eat first. But in the kingdom of the lions, the women are the killers. But they allow the man to eat first. Submission. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But in the kingdom of the hyenas, they allow them woman to eat first because she kill and she eat and she divide to her children before giving to the man. So in the kingdom of the lion, reverse is the case. One is doing it right. The second one is doing it wrong. And in the kingdom of the hyenas, they don't have a king. They only have a queen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because she's not married to anybody. Anytime she needs a man, she likes the man and just sleep with the man. And you know the most funny part? After sleeping with some of these men, he killed them so that the children will not know their father. So that nobody will talk, say, I mean, I give a belly. You didn't hear what they talk so? The hyenas. There are some of you, God gave you money to stay with the man. God gave you money to build the man. God knows that this man has nothing. And God gave you something to raise the man to your level. I have come to find that the hyenas, they don't care how the husband feed. This man loved you before he kept you. He didn't know that life would be like this. He wasn't aware that to put food on his table later would be hard. You are the woman. Stand by him. Support him to stand again. Don't be like the hyenas. Be like the lioness that we gather and give to the husband and she will eat with her children. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The hyenas is the woman that takes decisions. They don't like you, they scatter. They don't want you, they scatter. They don't care because you don't have what they have. Forgetting that money is not everything. There comes a time you look for the support of a husband. The support is not there. I came to speak. Any power that wants to turn you to hyena, that power die in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm not hyena. Say it, I'm not. I'm not. I've wasted time, but listen. Is it making sense to you at all? I'm not hyena. They call the queen the Alpha. Remember, Alpha means beginning. And she has no husband. She's promiscuous. Anybody she likes sleeps with her. But no. The lioness stays with her husband. Kataba Z, Iko Tataba. And they make sure, see, everything that is coming, respect. Don't say God as. Can I shock you? Don't live the life of everything is money. I beg you. I beg you. There's a time, money phase. There's a time. What you need is a home. You need what? A home. A home. A home. How can a woman look at a husband and say you go suffer for old age? No, not to go suffer. No, no, you're not spirit. Not twice. Not the dwarf. Not good. How can you look at your husband and say the time money there your hand? You remember me? You go suffer now. Come. Not so. You are the woman in the house. At times, this man will miss. I'm not talking the man good. Though. No, I beg. Not misunderstand me. Some men. Some men are men. Some men. You hear me? Some husbands are hunched back. Are you hearing me now? I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about men that are standing. They don't have money. If mama has looked at money, she would have missed me. Because I came, I came like uh, 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 coming to America. I said, let me come and check mama. I don't, like, I don't want who will like me for my money, but for who I am. <laughs> 
Mama has shock for me now. I tell my mama, I say, I know, I know what I mean. You know, so I, I get money. I want, I want, I want me to love me for who I am, not what I have. All my family, nothing. <laughs> no money. <laughs> promise, mama, we mad. You don't see promise. If I, my promise can get weight, I tell my mama, I say, don't worry, forget, 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 forget. Before you finish school, how many caravan you want? Me where they talk, I never shop. Oh. But one thing she saw, this woman has a very full and strong side. She says, I see I married a pastor. I would say, where you for see pastor? Me. My papa not be pastor. My mama not be pastor. I never ever get from my family who be dicky. <laughs> I think you know where they go now, so. But she saw it. She saw it. And today, today, she stood as a lioness. That time I was still tracking. Many years ago, that time, nothing, no, nothing, I'm not going to buy school. But a bus was waiting for us. It was a barrier. Family barrier in uh, Oakman side, Abby. Somebody died. They were waiting for somebody. Mama said, my husband is coming. My husband is coming. My husband is coming. So they were, when they hear my husband is coming, they're teaching one man like that. You know where they go now. One man like that. We just like say, get money, go pack his jeep for corner. You can just enter the bus. You can manage the bus with them. You know, say, get away, you don't manage bus with people. You pass the level, but you want, you want, let's like, say, you, you humble. You go come down for, for your jeep, call it a bus. Actually, you know where they go. So, so the thing that kind of man, I won't come outside. Mama said, My husband is coming. My husband is coming. My husband is coming. I don't know, say, Mama, don't make that kind of mad full ground. She didn't do that where well before. Where, where? She did one. I don't know, say, that make mad. Say, My husband is coming. The bus that they wait for me, 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 me. Me, what they wait for? Eh? As I come outside like this, with my, my slippers, I wear go better. I just come outside. I enter the bus. People, nobody recognize. You know, they don't look say maybe I'm the conductor. <laughs> I just woke up. Come. Uh, mama said, We can go. The driver looked at Mama and said, Where's the husband? He said, Look at my husband. You know what the man said? Say, You are a woman. Say, You're kind, not many. Even at this stage, you are proud of this man. <laughs> yes. yes. Proud. Be proud. Shot. Look his shirt. He don't hear. Somebody like her because of that shirt we don't hear. Say, ah, what I like for money that not his shirt we hear. Oh. <laughs> See, no offense, so now preach and they preach you. I'm your prophet. Listen, listen. If I preach and it touch you, no verse. You are not the only person in the crowd. I may be talking to somebody that needs this thing now. Oh, come, sir. Come, sir. Come, come. I like what this man said. Mama, you hear what he said? I like what he said. Even we the men, even we the men, we are hearing and we are meeting, sir. God bless you, sir. Oyis kana, wait for Oyis kana. Wait, Oyis kana se e shagara. Oh man, man, maske so. That you are always they look like mumu. <laughs> Walk on amo. Walk on amo. No be mumu. Make the nigga take out for your hand. They call package shine. They call the shine for your eye, yo. Walk on. Now try to talk so. I be my hand out for there. My hand out. I know uh, today I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Where to go pass it? 
Uh, no, no, a fear. <laughs> Woman, listen, don't be a hina. Be what? Lioness. Can I shock you? Sometimes, sometimes the man may not be the person that will bring the greatness. Sometimes it is the man you marry. The greatness is in their children. It's where? In their children. When their children start growing, you yell, Mama this, Mama that, Mama this. Now you're not going to see Kolo. So make the marriage work now. Not to say, I go back home! I go back home! Not in Paris, where they say you won't pack, and they really want me you pack. As you come up for house, they're not telling you, say, Welcome. I think that's when you pack your lot, they come for house. Now, when you don't reach the street junction, you never say you pack. Mother, no pack, I don't pack, mother, no pack, I don't pack. As you reach the junction, you have to say, I don't pack. I, now, the shame to go back with the problem. Oh. Mother, if only you pack, pack, go back. I give you the grace to pack, go back. Look at your neighbor, say, Never run from sin. Say, Never run from sin. Say it again, say, Never run from sin. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I have spoken. I have said a lot of things today. Is it very correct? I've said a lot of things today that you must understand. Listen, I'm not here to castigate anybody. There are many great women that men frustrated. Ah! Even their living saved their lives. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. You didn't hear talk so. I pray. Run from sin. May shame be far from you. May what you are looking for touch your hand. In the name of Jesus. May what you are looking for touch your hand. Stand up everybody. Wave your hands. I'm just telling you something. your hands for me. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? In Jesus' name. You will pray. The names the enemies have given to us to slow our life Slow our progress. Name, catch fire. Say, my father, my father. Family name, nickname that is fighting my progress, fighting my success. Catch fire. Hope you're about fire, prayer. My father, my father. I said, pray in the name of Jesus. Any name the enemy has given to me, any name my family has given to me that is troubling my life, I said, pray in the name of Jesus. That is Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, my father, my father. Any names the enemies have given to me. Ancient name from my father's house or my mother's house affecting my destiny. Any nickname they've given to me affecting my destiny. Cash fire. Hope you're my fire bread. My father, my father. I separate the name of Jesus. Any evil name my family has given to me. Any evil name the enemy has given to me that is fighting my testimony. That is fighting my name. I say pray that name catch fire that name catch fire that name catch fire I come under the catch fire that evil name fighting my greatness that evil name Amen please I want you to pray to the name fighting my glory that I don't know receive total deliverance say my father my father the name fighting my glory 
that I don't know. Receive total deliverance. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, I separate in the name of Jesus. The name they gave it to me, fighting my glory. That name give it to me, fighting my testimony. That name receive total deliverance. I separate in the name of Jesus. The name receive total deliverance. Receive it. Amen. I don't know why we want to pray this one. Say anything that wants to turn me from bread winner to bread beggar. Say cast fire. Say my father, my father. Anything that wants to turn me from bread winner to bread beggar in my family. Cast fire. Cast fire. Hope you must fire bread. This week, any power that wants to turn you from breadwinner in the family to bread beggar, may that power cast fire. In the name of Jesus. I want you to repeat it. Say, my father, my father. Anything, any power, any man or woman that wants to turn me from breadwinner in the family to bread beggar, cast fire. Hope you're fire. My father, my God, a portion of a parade of Papa, anything that wants to change me from breadwinner to breadbeggar, the one to talk to me from breadwinner to breadbeggar in the family. Oh, you're the sea fire, 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 oh, you're the Anyone that wants to turn you from breadwinner in the family to bread beggar, I command her to release you and die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two prayer you want to pray. Kadaba Zibata. Look at her. That spirit of struggle that followed me from birth. That spirit you struggle. Everything, everything you must work out. No favor. Say that spirit of struggle. That followed me from birth. Up to today. Die for my life. Die for my life. Spirit of struggle. That followed you from bed to scatter your life today. That spirit cast fire in the name of Jesus. Take a seat. Kada baziba le kata tata bozi ikoto kataba. Some say thank you, Jesus. Come. Tell your wife to come, sir. Come. No time. Kada da kada si kada bade kada bade. So say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. You will not have stroke. You will not have stroke. I was there just now. I should tell you, you will not have stroke. Amen. There's this feelings. It will come from your tummy. And you, you, your hand, one part, it will be dragging you. Is it true? Yes, sir. From the eyes, it will. Oh, you are aware, sir? Yes, sir. Listen. I saw it just that the Lord said she will not have stroke. Amen. You hear me? I returned the stroke. Amen. And the Lord 
say I should change the name they gave you as a child. Which name they give you? Because they tell you what? <laughs> the husband said they used to call your wife when she was small. Cash mother in the village. And now there's no cash to display. But there was cash before to display. Uh, but no, now no cash. But that is not even the name. That's a name again I'm seeing. You said? Okay, your time with you. Okay, Which means? God's time is the best. God's time is the best. Okay, Mute. Okay, the time of tea go rich. The time of tea go rich. Yes. The expected time will come. Okay, Mute. That is everything has its own time. Yes, that's the right word. Is it very correct? Everything has its own word. Time. Yes. Okay, now that the question is when is the time? Forgive me. Eh? I want to change that name. Are you hearing me now? The time will come. But today, let's actually change it for you. Eh? I want to change it. When they call you that name, or came with it, eh? Eh? I saw a power in the river rejoicing. The power will rejoice. Rejoice. And anytime they call her that name, the power locates her anywhere she is. Because that is the name they gave to her as a child. That, that name, the time of this comes, was not given to her as a Christian. It was given to her as a baby. And it was given to her in an altar where they worship water. Are you hearing me now? Yes, but today, I want to disconnect you. Can I say something? Can I say something? Yes, sir. Have you not noticed that sometimes, even when there is heat, you will start feeling cold yes, sir. inside your tummy? Yes. Is it true? Yes, sir. Even on free sense, I experienced it. Even on free sense, you, yes, free... yes, okay. you are aware, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah? yes, sir. Now, the reason the woman is feeling cold is because when they gave birth to her, they bought an image. And that image, they caught her name inside and they married her to that water. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They married her and they said, from that day, anytime they call her name, now, the truth is, she's supposed to have children, yeah? But because of that image, the children goes to the water. No wonder there will be signs of pregnancy from nowhere, it will stop. It's because of that thing. You hear me? I will, sir, look for a new name. Let me give your wife. Apart from your community, which, which name do you want? Both of you talk now. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. That's uh, uh, with green. Run, run, sir. Run, 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 run. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. The barrier is canceled. Go! Amen. Go! 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 The barrier is canceled. Amen. Say the barrier is canceled. Amen. Say the barrier is canceled. It's canceled. Amen. Amen. You came here with a pain. You came with a pain early this morning. Eh? Yes, sir. Early this morning. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Early this morning. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. You came here with a pain. Yes, sir. You are the nurse they marked for death before. Check that pain. I they feel the pain. I they tell myself for stuff, say I'm not gonna die. I say people they die, I'm not gonna die. People they die. Yes. Three people don't die for my store line. I say I'm not gonna die. Hala power! Hala power! Anyone targeting you to die, they die your death in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go carry your life. Go carry your life. Go there. You are too young to die. Ever. We are not carnal, we carry. Hey. Have you taken the name? What's the name? Eh? Joy. Joy. 
the stroke is gone. Amen. May your new name work for you. Amen. Power. Heba, heba, Amen. Heba. I break that yoke. That image cast fire. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sir, come, 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 come. No time. No time. Call her up. Your name, Joy, will work for you. Amen. Power. Amen. Zazo, Zazi, Dada. Amen. Come, sir. Come. Hala power. Do you know what I call you? When you get home, not even when you get home, as you are going now, eh? by, by, just by, just for yourself, just your, yourself and your wife and your family, just, just rejoice, eh? rejoice, rejoice. Sir, where this man went to buy his property, eh? somebody has gone there to plant something. We are just going to buy property. Somebody went there to plant something. Not your family member. What they fired, return back to them. Yeah. Amen. Leader, sir. Return. Return. Amen. Return. Return. Amen. Return. Return. Amen. The debt is cancelled. Amen. It's done. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's not your first time to see me. I know they take a go for to see. If I want to see, now so I just the talk. Hey, I go talk, 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 no matter the bigness of your problem, your God will still make a way. She shall be far. Join us at the Palace of God by the Church. The old Apostle Michael Apo. If they're not a matter for your family, you will break the yoke today. You cannot get money for your family. You go break the yoke today. You cannot go abroad for your family. You go break the yoke today. You cannot buy a car for your family. You go break the yoke today. You cannot build houses for your family. You go break the yoke today. You cannot get a picking for your family. Holy Ghost! Then district of Pity I Road, opposite Link Up Philly Station, Efro Warri Delta State, Nigeria. God bless you. Join us.